you're all doing well. I'm doing a follow-up session for a client. If you're interested in checking out the previous session I did with this client, be sure to check the description for a link. So um, the goals for this session is we're going to be working on chakras. Um, and I got a little bit more feedback. This client had been through um, a very traumatic experience, had lost loved ones in a car accident. Um, and so um, there's a lot um, a lot to look at, a lot to heal um, and transform. So we're going to see what the chakras are looking like and, and just start working through that healing and transformation process. So I'm going to go ahead and relax and get tuned in. I will say, uh, I may be very slow speaking because when I enter into your energy field, it's kind of, uh, like I feel like just kind of collapsed. Okay. Like this, just, just, if you could let go of all the weight that supports your head, <laughs> so your neck just becomes limp. Okay. Your shoulders, your arms and everything is just kind of goes like this. And so that's fine. I might even kind of go with it, okay? Just really go into the depths of it. There's stillness. There's... I even feel very quiet in my throat, like... So I, I'm supposed to speak like this, okay? I'm supposed to speak like this. What happened to you? What happened to you? Where are you? What are you doing? And then I see you kind of like um, a puppet in a way because um, when the puppet isn't in motion um, and then it just leans against a wall, for instance, it's kind of slumped like that. It can't be in control of its own body because it's a puppet, right? And so there's this energy that comes into the space where I see you kind of like the um, the collapse, the puppet and collapse. And this energy is um, being straight, being strict with you, telling you to um, come on, get up, get going, let's do this, okay? And all the while, your energy field is like this. And it's very, um, I mean, it's paralyzed in a way. It's, it's literally paralyzed. It's like telling somebody who's paralyzed that they need to go run a marathon. Hello? Get up! <laughs> run the marathon, you paralyzed person! It just, it's not realistic. There's just not realistic. So this um, very um, demanding figure, okay? <laughs> um, we're going to tone that energy down. And then we're going to bring this puppet energy back up again, okay? So we got to bring this into um, seeing eye to eye with one another, working together. Um, heart is broken. H head hurts. Like a, a um, throat tight. star and what's interesting is when I just let you say in your own style um, you come out of yourself as many parts of you um, and it's kind of neat to see it at first because I've seen this before it was on a YouTube video and it was like a, a Chinese um, dancers and there was many of them behind, 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 behind each other, but you couldn't see them. And they had all these arms going and it was, everybody was a different person, right? But um, it looked like one person in the front with many arms, they made it look real. They did it. It was so neat to see it. Um, I loved it. I totally loved it. It was very spiritual and empowering for me to see all these human beings coming together to create one form with all these many arms. And so you're showing me this like yourself with all these many arms and then you're coming out from behind yourself. Yourself, 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 yourself. So another you. Wow, there's so many of yous back there. That's so cool. So when I let you just say, just speak um, in your own way, um, 
it sets you free because there's no judgment of it. So let me tune in. Let me let me tune into you for a minute. Oh boy. This is hard to explain this one, okay? How do I explain this? Oh man. Several things are happening at the same time. Um, there's all these dancing bunny um, women, okay? They're adorable. Um, and they're all like hopping around and they're really cute and they're dancing bunny women. <laughs> They, they look like, um, it's not like Playboy bunnies. Um, it's got like an elegance, I don't know, there's something suave or, um, there's something, it's, it's almost like it's a play and they're representing this animal in a very spiritual way. So it's not like supposed to be sexy, it's just supposed to be kind of adorable. Um, and there's all these dancing bunny women. Um, and they're tiny. They're like kind of tiny little bodies. They again, there's kind of like an Asian flair to um, the style. I don't know. There's something um, that captivates the mind and the senses as to how you can move your body, how you can move your form. And there's incredible acrobats that come from other parts of the world, you know. Um, and some of them have very tiny frames. And so I see these tiny framed women and they all look very similar to one another. And they're all wearing like a golden um, kind of swimming suit and bunny ears. Um, but it's all kind of, there's a lot more skin exposed. Um, and it's very adorable to watch. So I have this fun little show and all these like dancing bunny women. Um, but then I also have this other thing going on here, okay? It's like trying to put two realities back together again. It's trying to put two, um, it's almost like this is the part that got like, I see a face that's kind of drooling. Um, and then the memory of the dancing bunny um, women and wanting to bring the spirit of that energy back to the face, back to the, the life of the body, the life force of the body. I definitely want to honor going to each and every one of your chakras, but they're wanting to sort of present the, the totality of your energy field first. We're going to look at this first, okay? So, um, again, there's all these yous, right? Um, there's you, there's you, there's you, there's, oh my god, there's so many yous. And the yous kind of turn into the dancing bunny women. So we're going to face yourself, okay? We're going to face you. Um, we're going to face all of you. And there's a lot of bright versions of you here. Oh... Okay. Hmm. 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 Right now, it's just a need to watch. It's not a need to be the bunny women. It's just a need to watch. Like a need to um, separate from the animated you and to become the watcher you, the observer you. Um, to separate from the activity and be the observer, okay? And I can't put the observer into the activity yet. It's not um, vibrationally appropriate to do that yet. I mean, we are going to the damaged um, version of you. And there's going to be multitudes of them because you're so much. Like, every single soul is so much... Um, there's so much going on in there. Like we're a whole universe inside here, you know? And so when you go through a traumatic event, it's going to have a domino effect and a ripple that's going to affect different parts of yourself from different points um, in the spectrum of your soul journey, you know? Um, so there's those of you who are going to be persevering. Those of you who are going to be like militant, like get up now. <laughs> there's going to be those of you that that are letting themselves go. There's gonna be those of you that are crying. There's gonna be those of you who give up, you know? So we gotta look at all the yous. Um, but right now I'm seeing all these like dancing bunny yous and boy, are they happy. And then we have one very um, present observer you. And I'm not able to bring the, I'm not able to bring that together, two different worlds together just yet. We're working our way there, okay? Working our way there. And I ask this you, the observer, 
Um, why won't you let that in? Why won't you let the bunnies in? Almost like it's too devastating. I've, it's been too devastating. Um, and a part of yourself died is, is kind of what you're saying. Like, you died in that accident. And so what remains here on Earth then? The, what, what part of you is still here animating this body? Um, and what part of you isn't here? Let's go talk to that you. Let's go figure this out, right? Yeah, because you, I mean, it keeps echoing back that um, you died in the accident, okay? And because you died, you, you can't be all that you are right now, or maybe for the rest of your life. I mean, that's what you're kind of, it's like, I, I died. <laughs> it's like, well, you're still here on Earth, man. You're alive. You're freaking alive. Like, okay, let's figure this out. Because when you're missing life force energy, you're going to feel like this. <laughs> so let's see what we can do to bring the life back to you, okay? Let's see if we can do that. Let's see what, what all we can discover about this. Okay. Okay, stress. This is actually good stress, all right? It's freaking your head out. It's, it's bothering your mind a lot. Like, uh, it's very stressful, but I will say this is good because you're having thoughts that are um, manifesting a shift and a change to bring the life back into you, and it's bothering your head really bad about this. <sighs> Boy... All right, so I'm learning right now, okay? I'm just going to describe what I'm being shown in this image here, and I don't fully understand it yet, but... Um, you're in a rectangular shaped box in your head and you're on a white couch and I see there's beings that come to nourish you, okay, to feed you. Um, but the, it's like, um, what kind of nourishment? Is it actual physical food or is it um, brain food or is it um, love? Is it energy downloads? Like, um, there's a lot, it symbolizes a lot when it comes to there's beings here that are nurturing you, that are feeding you. And food, it doesn't necessarily mean physical food. It can mean energy food. Helping you through this process. And what I'm trying to gather, what I'm trying to understand here is... I want to go to the part of you that died. Um, but when I try to go to the part of you that died, I'm, I'm only allowed to go here into your head where this you is in white um, with um, people that have silver platters with an item on it. And it's, it looks like an apple. It looks like a pineapple. It looks like a, a banana. I mean, it looks like fresh fruit, but it's food. It's nourishment. And you're extremely patient in this space. But again, um, vibrationally, it's not awake. It's not alive. Um, it's almost like it's stuck in a meditation. But we can trip the trigger. We can open this box up. We can open this up. Um, I just have to make sure that um, I'm aligned with divine time about this. Because there's a lot that you're learning and receiving and downloading and digesting. Um, and everything happens for all the right reasons, right? Um, so there, maybe this is this intermission time in your life story where you had, to, um, you had to be challenged to such a degree that you would be in a way separated from your happy bunny dancing selves and now become this observer that is inactive, um, that feels like the spirit of life has it kind of left with the accident. Um, and now you just have you and your body in a way like, um, 
I mean, you have so much life to live still, but, um, but that, that's what they're showing me, okay? And I'm not able to just go to that part of yourself yet. The part of you that died in the accident. And I feel like perhaps it is you that isn't ready to visit with that part of yourself yet. And so I can't override. Um, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you really quick, um, very, very directly, very, very directly. I'm going to look at you on the couch. I'm timing out all the people coming with, with more nourishment for you. And it's just you and me eye to eye. You're, you're half asleep. So am I supposed to believe you? Like, however you respond to this, like, um, you know, I'm going to have to feel this out. I snap my fingers. Everything's timed out, but I snap my fingers and I make all the people disappear. So it's just you and it's just me. And I say nothing. I just look into your eyes and I, I hold your shoulders. Um, and I express something from my heart. Which is basically the part of you that died in the accident. It's time. Let's visit this part of you. Do you agree? Too many monsters, too many kind of, too much pain, too much sadness. It's not about you having died in the accident, part of yourself did. Um, it's about the meaning of it all. It's just how it affected your soul. It affected your soul about life and death and loss. See, that's perfect. That's That's perfect. You spoke to me. You shared with me. You shared with me. That's perfect. We're already accessing the part of you that died in the accident. Accident. It's perfect. Um, it's kind of a cha a chaos um, echo that comes through your eyes, and they look bloodshot. And there's just it's like an anguish that can't ever heal. I say, that's great. I mean, you're talking to me about reality here. It feels like an anguish that won't ever heal. That's actually perfect. That is how you move forward. It may be like, oh, I'm just thinking negatively or oh, I need to keep thinking. It's like, but just be honest about it. Let's just talk honestly about this stuff, you know? Stress, but really good stress. <laughs> Something feels cold and alone. Say so you're doing great. You're doing such a good job. Look at you. You're talking about this. Just you're talking to me about this. And remember, this this is beneath the surface. So you you have. <laughs> they have a funny hair there, but you have. You have your conscious level of understanding and, and knowing, right? Even intuitive knowing about things. Um, but you have all this infinite universe inside. And it's not always easy to access all the different yous and what they're going through in there. Um, so I'm in here to help, okay? I'm in here to help. And we're making progress. This is so good. I say, I know you're ready. I know you can do this and I'm going to hold your hand and all you have to do is just be honest about how everything feels. If you don't like it, if it makes you angry, if you feel anguish will never go away, anything like that, um, just talk to me about it. Like, let's just be authentic. Let's just be real about it. You're really pushing, um, this is interesting and unique. So, 
there is an overlay um, of, of a version, a physical form, a physical version of yourself that is um, basically like paralyzed. Um, almost like in another version of the same accident, you were paralyzed in that version. I don't believe it's real though. Um, I know the totality, so it's probably somewhere in the infinite universe, yeah, but um, I'm not giving energetic credit to that. However, you did, somewhere inside yourself, um, you have a manifestation, of like an energetic overlay that is paralyzed. And so you have two versions of your own body. One of them is what you feel is your day-to-day -day body, but there's another energetic version that is paralyzed, like in a hospital bed. Um, so is that the part that died? Um, is it the f is it a physical body um, program? The physical body died, um, but it really didn't, you know? Um, so I'm still making sense of this, but we're working through the layers. We're getting there. I so want to visit the spirit of yourself. I so want to visit the spirit of yourself, but... Um, I can't, I like, I can only get, gain access to what the divine time is ready for right now. And I thank you for showing me that paralyzed body. And I say, let's go visit her. Let's go visit, visit your paralyzed body. Oh God. <laughs> my gosh a lot of unresolved trauma there it's still screaming okay still echoing it's it's kind of like your worst nightmare in real life she's still she's still struggling with it um it's like you see something in the mirror that is the truth and it is the nightmare at the same time and all you want to do is scream forever about it. Like, it's just, it's a really overwhelming thing, okay? Oh, gosh, so proud of you for doing this. Like, man, you're a strong soul, okay. I know you got it in you. I know you got it in you. You're calming down, you're relaxing, you're coping. Um, I see your paralyzed body turns into a man. I don't know who this man is. Maybe he was part of the accident. Hold on. Kind of like being in a hospital bed with a um, breathing tube or something, and I just kind of out of it and just br like just out of it, I guess. <sighs> trying to talk to him, but I, I have to just be like this for a moment, okay? <sighs> Why is he getting further and further away? Is that me saying that? Is that you saying that? And I hold your hand and I, and I give you strength and I see uh, you turn into Goldilocks. You literally look like a little girl with blonde hair and I, your name is Goldilocks, okay? And Goldilocks keeps pointing at the man in the hospital. And then I put Goldilocks on my shoulders. And she's very small and she's having fun on my shoulders and kind of patting on my head like it's a drum or something. And so I start walking and I can't understand my identity um, because I feel like I'm you but I feel like I'm a man and I feel like I'm I feel like I'm other people smushed into one body and we're walking towards this 
um, older gentleman in a hospital bed who's not awake, okay? And I hear the sound, though, of a heartbeat on the monitor. And as we walk towards him, he gets further and further and further away. But we have Goldilocks with us who keeps pointing in that direction. Okay, um, this is not, not uh, there's a not nice energy here. Um, it basically looks like, um, how it shows itself is like a, a fine tipped marker. Um, but it's, it, I guess it comes to a point. So it's not, it's like maybe a medium tip. It's not like super, like it's going to blot your page. It's got a little bit more of like a tip to it. Um, but it go, it's almost like you hold it with a, a full fist grip and then you streak it and then you streak it again and you streak it again, you streak it again. And so this not nice energy keeps, um, it kind of comes forward and just starts streaking these black lines on a white piece of paper. And it's a little female energy, like, um, maybe 1920 or something. she's just angry she's really angry and she's like if she could create a ball of lava in her hand and throw it and melt everything away she would um it's just a lot she's all full of anger okay it's just it's like a streak of anger another streak of anger another streak of anger another streak of anger if i could only create a ball of lava and throw it and melt everything i'll feel so much better so it's just we got to resolve this. I don't know where she's coming from. She could be part of your inner collective um, that's trying to cope with the trauma of the accident. Um, she could be, um, she's not, she's healable. She's hurting inside, okay? She's not like a negative entity we need to send away. We need to nurture and heal her. So I welcome her to come with us. I say we're all healing today. Everybody's healing today. And she keeps um, reflecting um, really like painful things like um, like suddenly um, there's all these like sharp things um, pushed through her skin and pushed through her body. Um, it just, it's like she's going through some kind of pain at every moment and it changes and it changes and it changes and it changes and she just keeps streaking the hurt and the pain and the anger and like the anguish, like she keeps streaking it as her body like physically shows another disturbing image, another disturbing image of the body being broken and hurt. I, I don't know why, but I turn her into a soft ball of cotton and I put her in my pocket like I have a little shirt pocket. And I tell her you'll be safe here and nothing is going to hurt you. Oh, this is really surreal. This is really hard to cope with in certain parts of your energy field and body. And I, I don't understand why it is, but it is hard to deal with. Because we're just walking through like a gray energy, trying to get to this old man in a hospital bed that we'll never reach. And we keep sort of collecting people along the way. We're just sort of like an oddball group that's sort of smashed together with a like a cotton ball in my pocket that was once this like angry girl and Goldilocks on the shoulders and I feel like we're walking further and further and further away from reality like we're walking into a dream for a long time and we never reach what we're trying to reach we never get there we're always kind of like never getting there never getting to this man if we could just talk to this man and the further further we walk ahead, the further away we feel, even though that's not true. You're never, never any far further away than, you, you, like, you're always everywhere. You literally are always everywhere. 
even if it feels like, you know, as a human being, we could drive a thousand miles and we're definitely far away from somewhere, you know what I mean? Um, but in the energy world, you're, you're in every single place and every single time simultaneously. And this is, this is somehow connected to the physical body and somehow it's very like, um, almost an astral experience that is very d densely physically connected. Um, it, it's very odd to experience it because it, I guess the best way to define it would be like a very weird dream that felt real and kind of like an, an eternity of walking into a, in a direction and then getting further away from where you were um, and just feeling kind of like um, never really go getting somewhere or anywhere want having a destination having a point that you want to reach this old man but never being able to reach him if you can't reach him then then what what do you do <laughs> you have to reach him you know what i mean <laughs> and there's no going back so i have to reach him <laughs> i want to stop this energy but it's almost like it won't stop it just keeps walking I snap my fingers and I show this whole scene that there we're right back where we started and we never left. And I snap my fingers again and I wake this old man up. He's off a respirator. He's off all this. He's walking towards me. And we are going to, he is going to come to us and we will see him eye to eye. Because that is what you want inside yourself. And if that is what you want inside yourself, then let's manifest it. Let's honor that. You say you just want to be you again. You just want to be you. And um, and so we're taking out all these people. Um, so it's just you. And you're kind of saying I'm scared. And it's a little tiny voice. Because again, th there's so many ripples of, of um, ways that you process the experience. And you don't want to wake up. You don't want to wake up at all. <laughs> you don't want to know. You just don't want to know. <sighs> Let's find out. Let's find out. This is fun stuff, right? This is an adventure. Like, this is the juiciness here. I know how hard it is, but you know what's kind of cool? Um... When you look at these things that are impossible to look at, oh my gosh, you're going to change your whole life. Like, this is kind of an adventure. It's a hard adventure, but my god, it's a good adventure. I mean, this makes a really good story. You can do it. I see you really tiny now, like four or five years old. Really tiny um, little person. And you walk over to the old man and you call him Grandpa. And then you say, no, 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 this isn't me, this isn't me. And I see all these people standing here looking at you and you're kind of like the crazy one or something. Like everybody's looking at you. Like, don't you know? <laughs> and it, it starts, the energy, it very much so feels like a dream, but it's not just a dream. It's a something more than a dream. And it's kind of, um, it's on a spiritual level, it's kind of like your soul got trapped, okay? And it's scare, it's actually kind of scary. Um, because you're slightly f physically um, aware of it. Um, I can feel a connection between this part of your soul and the physical world and is this the part that didn't that died it didn't like that's this is a fragmented part of yourself from the accident okay and it's like all these faces are going to represent whatever it is that you have going on inside yourself um so if you can't work through the emotional pain, like this will never find an answer. This will never be fully understood. This is never going to come full circle because it's always going to be a safe little pocket for you to remain um, separated from the physical world while still enduring the pain and the trauma of what 
is too hard to to cope with. <laughs> it's this is this is a serious thing here. So I open the energy up, understanding all this, I open the energy up and I just give you a very long hug and I turn into a man. And I hug you for a really long time and I say that I'm that we are standing in your heart. And this man is helping you to remember, is helping your brain to remember. This is about physical mind, physical brain. And he's um, inhaling and exhaling um, oxygen. He's helping your brain to breathe so that you can remember, so that you can... Um, come back to life again and it is the only way I could define it like he's helping to heal your brain and he's inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling to help your brain yeah you go through layers of um of real trauma and and it's like you won't admit it to you kind of I mean, you have real trauma selves, traumatized selves here. And um, another one is kind of like um, everything looks fine. And then suddenly the mirror, there's like a mirror. I didn't even know it was here. And it just breaks into all these pieces, but it doesn't fall to the ground. It holds itself together, but it hurt. It cut into the skin and there's blood on the pieces. Um, and then a, a smaller version of you looks at this pain and starts to scream. I just see again another introduction to an overlap um, of different like a, a person and a person and a person and a person all smushed together but they're they're different people um, and we need to create space here and it's safe to bring the happy dancers back to you you know You need simple, you need tangible, you need, um, like, normal life, you know? You need normal life right now. It may not be as spring and spry as a bunny girl's, but, um, if it's white and clean and simple and sleek, like, that's white and clean, like the white couch, the white outfit, um, sitting on the couch, um, like the people that are coming around they're like in a circle and they just go around and around in a circle and you know exactly what time and exactly what fruit and exactly who's going to give you what fruit and it and it gives it to you in a way that like everything is calculated everything is expected you there's nothing outside the box um and that really helps you you're, you have a part of you saying that if it's clean and white i like that that helps me Simple. All right. I'm going to take some time. We're going to look at every one of your chakras, okay? You're kind of nervous about this. You tell me... Um, this makes sense. It would be like... I mean, I, I guess now I'm starting to put the uh, two and two together. Like, I was thinking of, a, like, a football player um, has a bad hit and now is looking at a dangling arm or something, you know? Um, but it started to turn, that image started to turn into a car accident. And then it started to say, it's just like being in a car accident and you don't want to look and see how bad it really is. Because you know it's going to be bad, and you just don't want to know how bad it really is. You just don't want to know how bad it really is. But then you have to look at your mangled flesh and bones and, and everything. Like, it's freaking you out. Like, um, you're kind of saying that looking at your chakras kind of freaks you out. Like, um, having to know how bad and mangled your body is after a car accident. Um, that's kind of what, how you're putting it. And it's very groundedly stated. <laughs> like, it was very clean cut and very straightforward very easy to understand that. I'm going to start with your crown chakra. 
because the crown chakra is a, is a safe place where we can go to a higher dimension um, of letting ideas and information flow. Um, and it can feel very good. We can feel very safe in the high and the upper chakras. It feels a little more vulnerable as we go to the lower chakras. We're getting closer to our physical bodies and earth. <laughs> so it, I, that's what I, I, I noticed that <laughs> the vibrationally, um, it's easier to work with the upper chakras. You have, um, you, you're a woman and you're standing in a lab coat and you have a pointing pointer stick and you're pointing at different graphs, but they're kind of like pie charts in a way. Um, and there's something engaging about these pie charts, even though they all kind of look the same and they start to remind me of pizza. <laughs> they start to look tasty for some reason. Like, why am I getting hungry looking at your pizza pie charts? <laughs> like, uh, your crown chakra is like this this smart lab coated lady um, pointing at these um, this information, okay? And now the information is starting to look like pizza, like circle graphs, and now it's looking like pizza, and now it looks like mm, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But it is, it, it, it kind of shifts from being really silly and creative um, to being very practical and realistic and smart. Um, and there's access to lots of ideas and it shows me a kindergarten classroom and it, and the kindergarten classroom also has these books on philosophy and like ancient literature and different languages and like, <laughs> I mean, there's so much to discover in here. So we can play with blocks and puzzles and then we can also learn about Socrates. Like, <laughs> it's like a really great classroom in here. I love it. And there's people here because it, we can learn so much from everybody. And there's a clown. And, and I like I never had an issue with clowns, um, but people usually do. And I'm like, is it safe? Can we have clowns? Like not everybody is like kosher with clowns, you know? But you're like, we can learn from everybody. You know, and I was like, yeah, we can. We really can. And we can have snacks. <laughs> And I see really happy children, really happy faces, and running around. Hmm. Somehow this is making it, like, um, not very good. It's like, um, energy shifts, and I- this is gross, okay? There's a, like, a tuft of hair in my mouth. <laughs> like, a, like a drain clog, but usually it's all gross and slimy. Like, it's, like, clogged in your drain. Um, this is, like, a tuft of really dry hair that's dried out my throat, and I'm... <coughs> <coughs> it's really weird. Everything just toned way down and got kind of still and um, became a dry tuft of hair in the throat. And it's like, it'll never be that colorful and bright. It'll just be a dry tuft of hair, I guess. Because you don't have the energy right now to manifest it any differently. Um, I think if you can go in spurts of a few minutes with this happy place, um, and then it starts to feel like the dry tuft of hair, so be it. Um, it's, it's just, you have to introduce yourself. You have to open the door to who you truly are. Um, and if you can only hold it for so long, it's like learning how to do push-ups. Like, you can, it's going to be hard at first, but if you keep practicing, you might be able to do two, and now you can do five, and now you can do ten. Because you're, you're getting your body adjusted, you're getting your energy field adjusted to being you again. Um, so it's okay if it feels tired, alright? Um, it sounds to me like this is what your guides are suggesting for you, is, um, get playful in, in the spirit of your own um, higher mind um, and play in that place like a little kid or like adult with little kids and have fun, um, be playful in there. And then if it starts to go dry, um, it's okay. That, that's just a, a sign that that's, um, how, that's as best as you can work that muscle right now. So you're going to have to see this as um, you're learning how to walk again, okay, with your energy field. 
but they're pretty insistent that everything is fine everything's just fine and you got to trust that all of this stuff is happening for all the right reasons <laughs> it really is hard to be human i know let's take a look at your third eye okay It doesn't, it's, again, it's hard to talk because your third eye, it, it, that's how it is energetically. I'm going to have to disconnect from your third eye to talk about it. It's kind of like, um, there is an interconnection between your third eye and your throat and your solar plexus and it literally has about a two second um it's like two seconds stop two seconds stop um i i don't know how to understand it yet because i can't linger in there for long enough to really work through it um but it, it kind of shows me um kind of a shot like Nothing's really shattered. It can all be repaired that that fast. It depends on how, what we're ready for, you know, and how we can manifest that um, through where we're at, okay, in our energy balance. So I just like it's kind of like cracked light bulb, or um, and and how it's connected with the third eye, so throat and solar plexus, emotional gut. There's just some kind of like spider web, and it's like a light bulb that got kind of broken, but it never shattered. And the light bulb kind of works, kind of doesn't always work, <laughs> and that's uh, that's what your third eye is like right now. And I tell your third eye, you, you you're, what's the right language here? I don't want to say you're fixed, but yet I don't want to say you're healed. I want to say just you are beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. And somehow that positive energy is what nurtures you the most. It's not define it as like, if we define it as fixed, it's like you were broken. If we define it as healed, it's like, it's still kind of like um, healed from the pain and you know healed from the bad the good from the bad like but if we say you're beautiful it has nothing to do with you know, a car accident or trauma or anything it's just you're beautiful and for some reason that takes the it's just kind of it helps your third eye <laughs> really does <laughs> i might get weird here because there's some weird energy <laughs> <laughs> and working through third eye still helping it to relax and open up and it's a beautiful world you're a beautiful person let's let the energy circulate let's breathe let's let go of throat let's go re let go of solar plexus let's just be you right now third eye let's just be you let's just be you right now you're beautiful you're so beautiful so beautiful you're wonderful you're beautiful you're so sweet and adorable and there's cute things here like um beautiful flowers that smell super good and um adorable little pets like guinea pigs are so cute mm -hmm. puppies and kittens and bunny rabbits <laughs> cute little bunnies <laughs> it's starting to feel more childlike and more like like you and, and beautiful and sweet and adorable and kind and loving you see more um by with your feelings um because your feelings will help you to see anything physically like you could psychically see with your feelings i psychically see with my feelings um, and your third eye is showing me that you really like the the energy and the way the energy makes you feel and those the way it makes you feel is what manifests like really wonderful images colorful and the soft textures and, and cute little sounds like it's very um full here into with intuitive ability like psychic ability is very full and it really works with very vo vo um positive vibrational energy like 
really sweet and happy and kind like really good memories like um it kind of reminds me of um a good memory for me which was a birthday party for my son and we had a a, a cake um made to look like cookie monster because he was really in a cookie monster and we um, had a pool at that house so we all got to go swimming and have family over and we, we cooked dinner like um grilled out and we had sweet corn and um all that tasty food that you eat in the summertime you know with outdoors on a patio and um and it's just so it's so enriching it's like really the meaning of life you know and so that type of feeling about love and connection and family that is beautiful it's not tainted it's still alive it's still alive in here and i'm supposed to tell you the the funny awkward part of the story because um, we had a, a family member living at the house who was old and she had Alzheimer's and dementia and she had a habit of um, sneaking into the kitchen and we when we were done with the Cookie Monster cake which there was still plenty of cake left she um, found it in the kitchen and then grabbed handfuls of it and stuffed it in her bra <laughs> don't ask <laughs> well, she was covered in frosting when we found her and crumbles of cake everywhere I was Anyway, that's like the awkward, funny moment, right? That's part of our memories, too. That's really helping your third eye a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That is good. It's like the sadness. Is there sadness here? But it's good sadness. Because it reminds us of how beautiful love is, right? It's good, it's good sadness. There's, there's, um, there's kind of sadness that can be destructive. This is healthy. This is a healthy sadness. That's healing. That's healing your mind. That's healing your third eye. <sighs> Let's check out your throat, okay? Oh my god. <gasps> what is this place? <laughs> I'm a wall. <laughs> I'm a immovable wall. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm like st still. I'm a white wall. <laughs> I'm still. Okay, the the reason why this is um acting like this is because it doesn't understand still what happened. Um that's a that that is the simplest way I can explain a complex thing, okay? <sighs> because again, the overlay with the paralyzed body is still is is starting to reappear here. Um, the concept of I died and I'm still alive. Like so, if you're not alive, then you don't need to talk or you don't need to move and you don't need you know. But you are alive. Um, and the throat needs to catch up with that because it's all about self-expression. How are you supposed to express yourself if you have this overlay that you're paralyzed or this overlay, this program that I died? Like, um, we got to work on that because you are alive. And so since you're alive, you can express yourself. You have to say, I'm alive and I give myself permission to express myself because I am here, because I am still alive, because I'm living this life to the fullest. Um, and this is baby steps, okay? But but that affirmation is going to help um, the throat say, oh, okay, okay, so I'm choosing to embrace this life. And I'm choosing to express myself as a living, beautiful being. Okay, okay. But see, even as I say that, it's just like, it doesn't want to. It doesn't, it doesn't want to say that. It doesn't want, it doesn't want that to be the truth, okay? And so then it just gets really stiff, like, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse to say I'm alive, and I'm, I'm abundantly alive and active, and I'm embracing this. Ah, so much trauma in your throat. It's incredible. I didn't expect to have so much trauma in it. Oh my god. Um, this is a real, there's a lot of, um, vulnerable images in here, okay? Um, 
is it appropriate for me to tell you some of these? I'm going to. Um, but this is the trauma. So the image of trauma looks like this, okay? In your throat. And I see a woman and I see a bathtub. Um, kind of a, one of those nice ones. It's not like an insert. It's like its own tub and it has like the pretty little like feet on it. This is pretty graphic, okay? But um, she's lost her mind or she doesn't want to live anymore and she is hitting her head on this over and over and over and over and I just see more crunched in bone and it's bleeding and she won't stop. And she's starting to cry and... Uh, yeah, yeah, see, it's okay. We just looked at it. It's okay, we, we looked at that. I know. But I love myself. I love myself. Then tell her that. She's also you. She's she is an echo of of the trauma. That's what she is. And she wants a hug. She wants help. You got this. You take her into your beautiful crown chakra where it's a welcoming place for all ages. Help her to find her light. But I love myself, but I love myself. Mm. So I'm going to describe it like this. You break a bone and it hurts, right? Um... So if we were to describe what that hurt looks like in, in some sort of creative image, how would we describe that? Um, and you have to come up with a way of describing a creative image. So you have in your energy field um, aspects of you that would be like the pain of a broken bone in the single instantaneous moment. Um, and it can't get out of that. It's stuck in it. Um, Let's say you have sciatica. What, what, how do you describe that as a, like a person in motion, like a person in a play um, is acting out what um, sciatica is like? Um, obviously, you could say, oh, you know, like, like, you know, you could act out like that. But what if it was a creative image, like um, um, a hamburger cooked wrong or something like you, something creative? Like, so she's acting out her pain that she's stuck in, that she can't let go of, that she can't cope with, that she can't accept. That she can't do this. Okay? So you do love yourself. You totally love yourself. And she's struggling with loving herself because she's the echo of the pain. There's going to be ripples of this stuff. Okay? It's like a, a car that's in an accident. The pieces scatter everywhere. It's a mess. So the car can still be recreated um, but we got to put the pieces back together like so she's kind of like a piece that flew out of the car in the moment of trauma okay so it's severe it's freaking really hardcore right but but you do love yourself so let's work with that energy okay you understand now But it's hard for you to understand how to, like, you could go up to really high vibrational space. Um, but you, you're actually talking to me about what I mean here. But what I'm saying is um, you already are the light. You can go to every dimension in an infinite universe because you already are in every single dimension already. Um, so you just go, she would be a lower vibrational version that's stuck in another dimension that is that is hurting. So you can go to the pain um, that is struggling to receive the love that you are sending, the love that you have, because you got to go just look at him face to face. You got to just look at look at the disturbing stuff, you know, like 
smell it the stink okay <laughs> cope with the the unimaginable okay <laughs> some of this stuff is just like there's no way that's going on my energy field well you, this is what your energy field is saying so even though it, you think something up here you, you we all have stuff like this somewhere in, in the midst of our totality and by healing these parts of you you will you are going to regain and recover so quickly and you're also going to learn about how truly expanded and amazing your soul is and how many places you can go you know you have a hard time looking at her for some reason you really don't like this picture at all you really really don't like it hmm so we're gonna look at it you don't like it because um, she's she's blatantly hurting herself mm-hmm so so what's another example let's say um, you you aren't realizing that um, you you aren't choosing to live fully right now that means that you in a way are also hurting yourself by not embracing life fully in a way okay it's just a, an example of how we don't always understand all the weird nuances of of ourself and the balance of energy in the universe and the totality that's why we need each other so we can get perspective right You really don't like looking at her face because she's not hurting herself anymore and she's just turned looking at you and you're looking at her and her face's pieces are actually breaking off and it's like she's made out of porcelain and she's cracked and she's falling apart at the face. And the longer you look at her, the more uncomfortable it makes you. It just really kind of eats you alive on the inside. You really don't like it. And I say, can you help me understand another feeling that you get? Like, try to put it into some type of words. What don't you like? Because there's nothing wrong with her. There's nothing wrong with her just being who she is right now. In the most, whatever way it needs to be. And then we work through that relationship we work through that experience we work through that reflection we work through it the energy world behaves differently than this human world it is as raw and as loud as you could ever imagine like it doesn't hide anything unless it's trying to hide and then it's obviously trying to hide something and she's not trying to hide anything she's just this is really honestly what she needs right now for some reason So just let her be herself, but now support her and bring her back to love by just letting her be whatever authentic th way she needs to be. It's hard because um, this isn't how you had seen the future in a way like um, like us all, like all of us. Like we don't expect that things like this are gonna happen on our path. That happens to other people. It doesn't happen to us. Could happen to us, you know. And so you're kind of looking at this like, why am I having to deal with this right now? Why am I having? Why is this my life right now? It's like it just is. But you are alive. And this is your life right now. And it's an interesting, juicy story. It's an adventure. F ask her what's her deal. Don't be shy. Talk to her with that throat chakra of yours. Show her the dancing bunnies. Bring her back to life. This is igniting your heart, actually. You standing up and holding her hand and helping her. Um, and these dancing bunny women turn into actual rabbits in a field. 
and you're bringing her into a field full of bunny rabbits and the bunny rabbits are super sweet like they love everybody so they actually go to her they're not afraid <clears throat> And they, they, I don't know, they're kissing her. There's like 20 or something, like bunnies all over her. They're like eating her alive. No, they're kissing her. <laughs> There's like all these kissing bunny rubs. It's so cute. It's adorable. And she starts to cry and she breaks this shell, um, which she was trying to break all along. She didn't lost her mind. She knew exactly what she was doing, but she wasn't sure how to do it. And so, so all of that broken pieces and everything was a shell she was breaking down. And now this, the spirit of herself is here with all these bunnies. And your heart shifts and you're like, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. She, she was only hurt on the outside trying to free herself from the pain. And I saw it as something else because it was disturbing it's like i know i know <laughs> you you suddenly feel like you love yourself again like like you're such an interesting person like you're so there's so much to discover about who you are and it took this accident to really introduce you to who you are in a way that you never would have gone that route. <sighs> Does that make anything easier? There's still work to do, right? But there is something special here. There is something special here. And we're, we're digging into the treasure of the unknown. Um, but it's all good. It's good. It's all very good. You, your heart is so beautiful and you just cry and you let the light into your heart and and you let do you let go of clocks i mean i see there's a clock and the time was going really really fast and then it just disappeared and you let go of time like you you're gonna let this take however long it wants to take and you're gonna practice um just we're stretching the muscles, right? And working through you. All the inner workings of you. And the preciousness of what this means, which is still yet to be discovered, you know? You feel really good. And I feel like um, I want to do all your chakras, but um, these are really these what we've accomplished so far with the heart and up. A lot of people, <laughs> um, their comfort zone is from the heart up. Um, vibrationally, there's always a lot of interaction between these upper chakras. Um, the lower ones are closer to like our dense bodies and the physical planet. Um, it's actually perfect. I think um, what we've accomplished today is exactly what you vibrationally need right now um, to catch up with it, <clears throat> digest it, circulate it. Um, and in the future, we can always like see what's going on in other places, right? <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so very much. And it's an honor to help you. You have a very unique situation that I don't get to work with um, very often. So um, it gives me a, a new scope on energy balance and soul's connection with earth and other dimensions and how it's working through trauma experiences. Um, and it's just a real honor to just get to help you through this. And thank you so much for sharing with everybody as well. All right. For those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Um, I also have two other YouTube channels. So you can check me out at Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. And I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Have a great day, everybody.